hey 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 my beautiful beautiful people here we are once again right but i need you to remember to shine very very bright not letting anybody dim that light right that light that you that awesome awesome you is bright never let anybody dim that light this uh my name is trinity and welcome to my channel all about the All right, can't even go through the long spill that I do. So what I'm going to say is to my ride and dies, to my new subscribers, to my energy exchange, flip side, looking good, smelling good like I should. Can't stop, ain't going to stop nothing up in here. It is so, so big. Ah, shay. We are under the sign of Earth. Bam! There it is, Capricorn. There it is, Taurus. There it is, Virgo. Right. There it is. Right. So, what we got going on here? So, I need all the time I can get. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move on in it. Your overall energy. It says, Crown Games. Right use of power. Okay. Now, when I got this got this card, I was like, yeah, I was trying to figure out, did I say that right? Did I say Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? All right, anyway, so what I'm getting from this energy here is I was like, okay, so what is this, what is this all about? What, 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 what? So the surrounding cards that I'm going to show you lay, uh, in, a, in a few minutes let me know what they mean because the right use of power could be you are sitting in your power you are sitting in your anointing you know who you are you're utilizing your power you're utilizing that power that God given power that was given to you in the right way you're moving and shaking. You're you're you are um, doing your mission. You are doing your calling. You're answering a call. You are using your power to help, to restore, to rebuild, to wake. Right. Now, I had to ask because I said, "Well, what? Okay, so, but that ain't the case here. This is the right use of power. Someone, Earth sign, cross watcher, anybody that's on this reading that's dealing with." some type of uh, earth grounding energy someone is dealing with someone someone is around someone because this is about energy I'm reading what is the energy around you what's th through you what's going on around you and somebody is abusing their power they're, they're abusing their um, yeah they're abusing their power concerning you. Um, they are overstepping their boundaries. They are um, targeting you. We already know this type of energy, however, but when it's looking like this, I'm trying to tap into something that we don't know. Oh, okay. I, okay. So what we know is this. You have someone. You already know this person. You already know this situation because this person is low down, dirty. They have been targeting you, stalking you, watching you all up in your business, all up into all on your social media. They have been really all up, you know, all up on you, riding your back, trying to come against you, comp secret competition, trying to one up you, gossiping about you, running your name down, lying on you, cheating on you, um, just really, really doing the most when it comes to you abusing their power like this particular person has power has gifts has talents has abilities however they're using that they are abusing it they're overusing it they're they are taking those talents of beauty abuse taking those talents and abilities and they're using them in a negative way in the negative content to try to up because you're powerful right you're powerful. Whoever I'm speaking to, 
you powerful you're you you are walking on your journey like i just said it is the battle of it's it's a power struggle it's a battle you got the person who is using their gifts talents and abuse and, and, and i'm gonna say abuse abilities you got them using them for the right reason to restore to rebuild to, to um help and to waken to help people then you got somebody on the other spectrum that's trying to use abuse manipulate people with their power um talent and abuse and abilities i don't know why i keep saying abuse it's uh, it, what it is why i keep saying abuse and want to say abuse is because it is a lot of it is a lot of abuse so abuse is wanting to come out it's really really a big major thing here in this reading is abuse somebody is abusing someone somebody is really overstepping their boundaries where it is really getting a lot of attention in the spiritual realm because this particular person is really relentless really going there really going places that they have no business going targeting people in in, in ways that they have no business target tapping into people's energy that they have no business tapping into and so not only is this abuse to whomever i'm speaking to they feel violated they feel abused they feel targeted they feel um just uh just sick about this particular situation that's going on however okay gotta watch the time clicking off at 15 minutes however and so let me move on you got your ancestors this person has woken now that all this abuse all this stuff that this person this is new okay you know about this person but what's new and i must must in each reading try to find something new look your ancestors you, they have woken up some ancestor and they're mad this ancestor is mad and seeking your revenge because this person and i i felt this energy it could have been in taurus and so here it is again so your ancestors is wanting you to understand whomever you are you feeling violated, you feeling um, abused, you feeling taken advantage of, you just feeling like somebody is watching you, all eyes on your back, it's, you feeling some type of pressure. But I believe it was Taurus that this came, this energy came out about an ancestor. I'm not sure. Um, if it didn't, it's okay, because all of these readings are a collective. I really just want to do collective readings. I really don't want to do signs, but y'all like signs, so I'm doing them. Look at here. You have an ancestor that wants you to understand. Don't be sad. Don't be weary. Don't get tired. I need you to move on and live your life. I know why I keep saying, live, you guys, live your life, live your life, live your life. I keep saying that. I keep showing you pictures. I keep showing you what, me as being an example for you. Go out and live your life because you have awakened. You don't have to worry. You have awakened. This person has did something that it behind the scenes that has woke up somebody and they are mad. I don't know. I, this is the same energy okay anyway somebody ancestor wants you to know so they want you to know they cut they this energy has come out again this is a snake this particular person is a snake they have been slivering and uh uh trying to find ways to come in and taint your name trying to take from you this person is a snake but they have messed up because they have done something that is something that is a no-no. And I've read this energy before. I just don't know who it was that I read, read it for, what sign it was. But just know you don't have no reason to be sad. You need to come out of that energy. If you are in that energy of sad 
feeling down, feeling like somebody just won't leave you alone, you need to come out of that. You have so much that's getting ready to so much that's getting ready to go down for your revenge. For these people, they went too far. They went too far. They went too far. Look at this crown. They went too far. They tried to take something from you that they have no business, none whatsoever. All right? So, whoever it is, it's a snake and honey. The ancestors that I'm filling off of this car ain't nobody to be played with. I'm talking about high-ranking ancestors that's, that's not playing with these people and sick and tired of them because they have tapped into something. I think they may have tapped in something that that they gave you a talent or ability or they gave you some type of um they gave you something and this particular person tapped into it tried to take take it away from you and it woke them up and they said no this look at revenge they are mad all right the energy off of this they are mad and this particular snake they gonna cut this. They gonna cut that snake head off, clear off. So you have no reason to worry. You have no reason to be sad. You don't have no reason to be crying. You don't have no reason to be fearful. You don't have no reason about nothing. You have the response. Your res your thing that you're supposed to do and what you're responsible is before your happiness. Anything contrary to your happiness. Don't worry about it's being taken care of. The more and more you take the rings to live your life in spite of these people, the more and more power you give your ancestors to come in and take care of the rest. You have to let all of this fear, this sad, because that feeds in to these people. They feel your sadness. They feel you. And that feeds into what it is that they're trying to do. But when you go on and you move on, you live your life, you ain't studying them. What do they got to hold on to? So that gives the that gives your ancestors power to come in and take care of the rest. Your spiritual message is stag. Tr trust and thrive. Trust the process. That's your spiritual message. Whatever you're going through, whatever you see, whatever you went through in your past, trust the process. It was meant for you to go through that thing. It was meant for you to. Uh, it was meant for you to go through what you're going through now. It's meant for you to move out to to try to 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 uh, take the steps and the goals and the dreams to move forward. Everything has a purpose. Everything has a time. And it's time for you to come out of the past and remove that. That's a cycle that's over with. And just because these people can't let go does not mean that you can't let go. Does not mean that you can't move on. Does not mean you can't see the happiness and the joy that you can have for your future. Doesn't mean what, what they talking about ain't about nothing. And they ain't talking about nothing. All they talk the same old mess. They're trying to get you to go back in the past and have feelings and emotions and go all up in those feelings and emotions and crying and whatnot. But when you don't give a damn, if you don't care, what? If you don't care, then that gives you the the right to move on from these folks. Trust this process, everything. I'm talking about the hurtful past. I'm talking about the hurtful trauma. Trust the process. Without that hurt, you would not be who you are today. Allow your ancestors, give it to your ancestors, give it to your angels, give it to your spiritual team. Let them handle it. Let them handle your feelings, your emotions. Let them handle all of that. Give it all to them. And then what's left should be happiness, should be joy, should be working towards your goals, your dreams. It should be um, working towards open up doors, new careers, whatever it is. 
if you just let go and give that to them and let them handle it and you take the rest and take the rings and the responsibility of making your own self happy you can't get no better than that all right 15 minutes gotta go all right so this has been earth all right hit the comments hit the emojis let a sister know how she did thumbs up thumbs down just thumbs the channel it helps the sister out share 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 social medias different things like that subscribe it will behoove you to subscribe you need to subscribe that's all i'm gonna say um uh description box have social media uh personal readings are closed <laughs> you guys are reaching out for personal readings and they are closed so it's going to be by case by case you know i'll see what i can do um uh oh Hit the notification bell, right? Um, so you can always know what's up with the channel. Sending you love, sending you healing your way. Trinity is out.